to New Year cooking. Today's dish would be very significant for Chinese New Year, which will fall on the 10th of February 2013. For those of you who come from Singapore or from Malaysia, you would definitely know this dish as it is called Yu Sang. This is something like salad with a combination of uh, with fruits and vegetables, which are really colorful. And I must have this dish during Chinese New Year or else it will not be Chinese New Year for me. So I did this last year as I was not being able to return home to Malaysia and it really felt like home. So this year I want to share it with all of you out there and hopefully you would really enjoy this dish. So let me show you the ingredients to prepare this. So I have fresh ingredients which are all over here. I shredded some carrots, some radish. This is the radish which I've already used earlier. You will need some cucumber, some pickled ginger which I bought from the Japanese store, one lime, salmon pieces, taro. You do not need the whole thing, they'll just cut a few pieces and that will do, but I'll show you later. Some oil to fry the taro and a pomelo. And over here would be the dressing or the sauce for this salad. Two tablespoons of plum sauce, one tablespoon of water, one teaspoon of sesame oil. And this side, we do not need to do much, but uh, we'll just add it to the dish later on. So these are sesame seeds, one teaspoon, one tablespoon of olive oil, some roasted peanuts, I have a dash of pepper and one teaspoon of five spice powder. And this part over here would be the ingredients to prepare the crackers. So two tablespoons of water, a few dashes of salt, 30 grams of butter and about 50 grams of flour. We'll start by preparing the sauce first. All you need to do is um, add the sesame oil into the plum sauce and also the water. Just give it a few quick stirs and your dressing is ready. So we'll need to remove the skins of the pomelo and take a bunch of it and put it together with the other fresh ingredients. The next thing that we'll need to prepare would be the taro. Just cut about 16 layers. Put them all together and we'll need to cut the skin away. Cut this into thin stripes. The next thing that we'll need to do is to prepare the dough for the crackers. So in a nice uh, medium-sized mixing bowl, just pour the flour in and then the salt. Then add in the cold butter. By doing so, this, was, uh, this will incorporate some air and once you fry the dough, the crackers will be like a nice pillow. So just keep rubbing flour into the butter. So you can just add more flour if you find that the dough is still very sticky, but there we have it. Just spread some flour, cause we will then need to pick the dough out, flatten it and then cut it into stripes.
Now that we have all the ingredients, it's time to assemble our salad. So the fresh ingredients are placed one side and then I have the fried yam and also the crackers and also the pickled ginger. The next step would be to add the salmon pieces right in the middle of this dish. Okay, the last step is the slime whereby you will just need to rub on a hard surface because we will just need to squeeze the lime juice all over the dish. We will only need a quarter of the lime. So this is usually how yusung is presented on the table. There is a big plate of um, ingredients here and with the other flavours like the plum sauce, uh, the roasted peanuts and pepper, five spice powder, so and so forth. And so to assemble this dish, this is how it looks like. Put everything on top of the plate. So let's begin. The sesame seeds, olive oil, five spice powder, pepper, then plum sauce. Finally, after juggling everything together, it's time to mix it all up. So there's a trick to this thing whereby uh, everyone around the table would pick their chopsticks um, selecting the things that they, they are close to and then they will toss this whole salad together and the idea is that they should toss it as high as possible while saying some um, auspicious uh, words or pra uh, phrases so that the new year would be filled uh, with joy and money so the whole area would usually be very very messy so you just uh, mix it up it looks a bit silly doing this alone but with so many people it's really actually very very fun i hope you enjoy it and you try this recipe uh, it is a very very uh, it takes a very long time to prepare this whole dish but let me tell you it is really really worth it so um, Thank you for watching and I wish you happy cooking as always.